couldn't figure out why everything was suddenly doubled in sound. And we're live! I opened the Twitch stream. Hello! Welcome, everyone, to this evening's session of Galatea. Um, featuring now the brand new fancy uh, art from Art of Bartley, uh, who was delightful and made this last week for really us. Really fucking great! It's super cool! It and came through mid-session, and I had, it took everything I had not to be like, oh my god, guys, go fuck this shit! Yeah, same, basically. Literally mm -hmm. same. It's pretty fantastic. Um, and there's so also yeah, a we've got overlay. that now. It's pretty neat. Oh, we got a new overlay? Ooh, it is a new overlay. Look at I like it. Red and black With jewels and shit. Oversized mm -hmm. quads. Yeah, giant quads. This is I, the dungeon master. <laughs> <laughs> the ruler of the planet. Let me wait. Hold on. I am ruler of everything, and you will obey me and my giant head. Uh, we all have we all okay, have to look, do the Brady was... Bunch thing and like look up like quads. <laughs> 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 The giant head thing was not new today. Wow! The well, joke was better before I, before I stuffed it. Wow! That's what she said. Look, look, my head sure. is not that big when you compare it to the shaft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> Hi, Banjo. I had a different joke I was going to be saying. Wow. <laughs> well. So anyway, D &D. on that note, does anyone yes. have any announcements? Like a gnome's heart. Who's say, John? You know that you're muted, God right? Fucking God, Christ! God damn it! Uh, well, I mean, uh, like I said on Saturday, I think it was on Saturday, on this very same channel. Um. Hmm. If you are in Edmonton this upcoming weekend, the 22nd through the 24th, come to the Edmonton Expo and come visit me at table 102, or sorry, I-02. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, come see me, say hi, whatever. That's cool. Yeah, I promise goodness. I don't bite hard, unless you want me to. <laughs> Sexual. Well, welcome to Galatea, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> One every two minutes. Not, yeah, first <laughs> off. I mean, tonight, apparently. Uh, also, I had a slightly less awesome weekend, but everything is better now. Yay, better fun. now! Uh, also, kind of unrelated note, uh, I was recently accepted into something called Twitch RP, where now I can yeah! I can stream Ark on a purely role playing server, and it's gonna Ooh. be it's gonna be awesome. That's baller. Yeah, I Yay get to make my you. character soon. It's fun. That's cool, dude. Yes. Is your character? going to in any way worship a sea god well it's funny because we're playing on the scorched earth map where there's What's not a lot of water so yes okay <laughs> fair that's legit so if i worship this god maybe he'll bring water <laughs> that's actually fair bubbles would like to yell at all of those people <laughs> drink more water speaking of i'm out of water shit you just made me panic that. check the bottle I have right next to my microphone and then realize that I put a big steel bottle right next to my microphone and I'm moving it now. So yes. I don't knock it into the microphone and deafen... What is that, um, Mike? There's water in beer, isn't there? What is it? What kind? Rolling Rock. Ooh, yeah. What kind of effort? I okay. only drink this. It is, oh. it is beer with a capital B as requested in all movies and television shows. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like a beer. I wasn't sure if it was Rolling Rock or if it was Heineken. If it was Heineken, I was going to judge you. Well, no judgments. I don't actually think I have tried either of those. Rolling but anyway, Rock. does anyone Rolling have any Rock other announcements? Very <laughs> and no, I'm not just mentioning that because I'm pretty sure John owns that town. Um, I do Burr. legit actually recommend House Sound. It's fucking amazing. It's out of Squamish, B.C. Yay, Squamish and If anybody wants to send me beer, my address is 14. <laughs> <laughs> BV, this is a nice corner of the internet, but it's still the internet. Yes. I, well, I mean, like, also good luck finding it because he lives in Saskatchewan. In the beanies the of Saskatchewan. Think, yeah. Send BV boxes I live in Saskatchewan of Saskatchewan and poop. not the flat part, so you won't be able to find me. But actually, Wait, you really probably. <laughs> Just need your town name and then say, please give this to BV. Oh, somebody there's a, there's a part of Saskatchewan that's not flat. 
Yeah, all the north is actually <laughs> just good, like... There we go. Ah! Why are you all so quiet now? Hold on. Damn you. <laughs> Excuse me. Did I lose all of you? Okay. okay. Oh, you're back. Right. You're back! Right. You went to Bye, AFK. Did, what, what the fuck? You weirdo. Oh. I was panicking. You weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to figure out exactly how to send beer across country lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah that was it. And realizing that the logistics behind that are higher than you would think. Oh, also, expensive. also probably technically illegal. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's probably <laughs> Yeah, Matt in chat was like, y'all waiting on someone? And I'm like, no, we're just shitposting. No, we're just yep. being tickets. We're just yep. really shitty at following Welcome plot. to the beginning of every session. Yeah. yeah. This is literally how we go. Cool. This is fucking everything we do. This is this is how you know you're in the right game. When yeah. You just talk about nonsense for like 10 minutes before we start. Well, I mean, like, every every group does it. Yeah, yeah we just do it on so, stream. Like, I'm stuck in the box. Hey, CR does it on the stream, too. Well, that's true. They have, like, actual sponsors and shit to announce. <laughs> I mean, they just really shit posted during. Sponsored today by... We're sponsored today. If you want to get real technical, by my stuff on DM's Guild. Oh. That is true. <laughs> it's true. I'm also yeah. working on a hot pocket scholarship. Got things in the works <laughs> right now, so we'll, we'll I'm see. I'm trying to see if Kicking Horse will like sponsor us because that'd be fantastic. Because that coffee. Mm. Mm. That's yeah. true. It is really good coffee. Rolling Rock and Hot Pockets. I'm working on it. I just have burnt caramel corn. Still. Hot pockets. Yeah. Sponsored in a small know. way by by uh, Art of Bartlett, as mentioned in the chat. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's I think true. Chili should be sponsored by those fruit people with the Welch's. Oh God. <laughs> no, so he could teach them how to make their packets with Don't. The slits in it. <laughs> Just for his. Ah! There's a clerk. I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm so angry. Make the There's fucking a... fucking open them. Fair enough. There's a clerk in our channel. He's being. Sneaky. He's not actually playing on that, I promise. No lies this time. Okay. Are you sure? I'm I'm quite sure. Just had yeah, a miniature I panic. As much as I believe that somebody is definitely playing a character named Nyx. <laughs> or... Oh shit, I got a gift for this too. No, I deleted the link. Fuck. Ha! Where's well the done. wink? I was gonna say, where's the wink? So anyway, last uh, time... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> are, there, are, there, are there any more... Are there any more announcements anyone's got? We're Seven, one so far. 17 minutes in. Let's do this. Yeah, cool. aren't we missing the awesome one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, no, I said already. last announcement. Mike's yeah. awesome. I said that yeah, already. You go. Let's go ahead. Let, let's punch it. Let's kick this pig. So I'm going to actually battle talk about new tonight. If you guys are up for it, I want one of you to recap the last session. I'm going to try this. I think it's a fun thing. I'll give it a shot. Do it. Do it. Okay, so last time, uh, Norn was awesome. And. We were in the town of Juan Laredo. Juan Laredo is, as you can probably guess by the map, uh, a small city. Um, it is a small city, primarily elven in nature. Um, we were here following up on... I need to block the chat because it's popping up and distracting me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. I'm literally yeah, you my head over the fucking you screen. Jerks. Um, you all the this time. This is my fault! <laughs> I brought this on myself. Um... So, we were here following up on a tip about the leader of the Datara, which is a gang of tieflings who are currently rebelling in several cities across the beautiful continent of... I don't think we have a name for this continent. We do, but I always forget if it's fine. <laughs> uh, while here, last time, we briefly considered breaking into a museum. We didn't. Uh, and then we ran headlong into the middle of a war, ran into a buddy, said what up, met... His now slightly more badass stool. Uh, who's <laughs> friend. Poop. Wait, did you say stool? Yes. Okay, we're talking about bar stool, not not yes, poop. Bar stool. Got it. We're not talking about him taking a shit on the battlefield. Yep. Okay. <laughs> he might have done that. I'm not judging. <laughs> but we then fought a very large. I I keep wanting to reference Steven Universe, but we fought a very large person, a giant person. Um, and then, as we were about to, and also two statues, one of which Bree just exploded into fine cloud of clay dust, um, and then said person jumped back across the river, and then we shot them a bunch of times to kill them for sure, 
just mostly out of spite. Cool. How far off was I? No, that was pretty good. You just missed the end. <clears throat> what end? The part where you guys went to the barracks of the leader of the Wanderers, who's the head of the Oh, group. fuck, right. And he said that he would take you to the... Uh, yeah, I got close. The, the military you, leader. Yeah, to the leaders yeah, of the yeah, military. Yeah, yeah. Um, brief reminder, that guy's name was Suri. Um, right, right, because yeah. I was like, why? Right, because Suri BC, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you guys were really upset about that name, because Canada, apparently? So, I mean, like, there's a Surrey in the UK as well, but... Yes, but that's fine. It's a name also, and you can deal with it. It's the name of, a, of, a, of an elf, and you can get over it. I don't know, man. Also, you have no <laughs> idea how hard it was to not be like, Hey! Hey! Listen! What's up? Wow, the whole good. time! That's actually really good, and also oh. just a look of you. We're specifically this <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so, with all of this in mind, we'll go ahead and get started. So, party, y'all are in the beautiful city, well, less beautiful at the moment, but usually beautiful city of Juan Laredo, making your way, um, following uh, Suri, the uh, leader of the uh, quasi-militia, I suppose, of the Wanderers to um, the, um, as he's taking you to the uh, leaders of the uh, military here in Juan Laredo. Um, as you guys are walking, he sort of uh, turns and takes a look at the five of you. So. Colbert yeah. brought you back here. I take it. You all must have been fighting with him then. Uh, yes, we were. Not we're not for him, like next to each other, same team. Right alongside, yes. Of course, yes, yes. alongside. Yeah, not, not not against. Yes. yes. Anything interesting? Ah, uh, what well, a giant person! Yeah, so I, that was magically induced. I don't understand. No, no. Like, I, I know that. I need to turn you up, baby. I forget if we asked this right, but um, um, how long have you been here? Uh, you and the Wanderers? The Wanderers just got here a day or two ago, to be honest. We got the call, I assume, pretty much right after everything came in, and we were, um, we were a little bit spread out, but for the most part, all of us were somewhere near the Orklands, so... We made our way up here as quick as we could. Were the bridges destroyed when you first got here, or did that happen yes. recently? Okay. Uh, bridges were out when we got here. We um, we came around from the north side. We came, we went round the long way. Gotcha. Yeah, we came down the cliffs and we had to cross the river ourselves. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, it went pretty well. I mean, we didn't have didn't have much trouble. I didn't realize that we it were on the. Went a lot better than you would think. Yeah, which is surprising for us. We usually suck at everything. Yeah, I'm actually really proud of us for that one. I'm not sure how to feel about that statement, but okay. Just say you and me, Just don't. Yeah. yeah don't, give don't give don't it like five us. minutes. You'll see what I mean. Yeah. That's actually an accurate statement. <laughs> it's not exactly. The solution yeah. is just don't engage with us on things we say like that, and just sort of move right past it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Confident bunch, then. All right. Uh, mm, confidence word. That, that was sarcasm. Sarcasm yeah, is also I, I a, a word. Feeling. Sarcasm is also a thing that we are <laughs> very well with. Fair. So. Have you been having oh. a very good relationship with the, the person in charge of the Elvish army? Or are you just like, have you had contact with them at all? Or are, they, are you working from, through somebody else? You can't We've just ask about time. a marriage state. Jeez. Huh. You can't just ask them if they know the elves. Wait, Nix, hold on. Norin, Nix wants to hear about that whole story about the beginning. Go ahead, and I walk away. <laughs> you I, walk I'm away while they're... So you, I mean... you just walk away from a business meeting? <laughs> yeah. This is fine. Yeah. Like... <laughs> no, I thought, no, no, no. I thought, I thought we're, like, walking to meet the, the commander, right? No, you we're are. talking to the commander right now. Person. You're yeah. talking to the head of the Wanderers. 
yeah, you're following him, so you know where you're going. Yeah, you no, I just away? did that and walked away from Nyx, closer to the guy we're talking to. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just lead into Nyx. He doesn't know it yet, but I put a copy of the entire manuscript in his bag. Perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying? To, were, were you actually trying to be quiet there, uh, Norin? Uh, that was more of a stage whisper. Actually, yeah. okay. Well, my passive perception's eighteen anyway. You would have <laughs> caught it regardless. I dive into my bag and just start. Where the fuck did you put it? <laughs> okay, I'm starting to like wrist. you a little more. Because <laughs> that's the shit I would do to my brother. Oh, love it. It was my last roll of paper. Anyway, so, I'm so sorry, I got us off track. How is your working relationship with the leader of the military in this town? Fine, I can't say that we've had a ton of interaction before now. We don't get called upon often. It's been since before I was in charge that the wonders have been called. Um, but... <sighs> I mean, we're just here to help. And... Same here, actually. Yeah. So, Is he a nice hell for one of those high snooty elves? So, appearance-wise, uh, Suri is, um, he is, uh, skin sort of the color of wet sand, almost. A uh, very dark, pretty much jet black hair that he wears, like, in a ponytail. It's very long. Um, and he is a little bit more heavy set than the average elf. Um, he doesn't, he certainly doesn't seem to be a particularly snobby individual by any means. Okay, um, I was actually he's very asking relaxed. that about the you... other guy. Oh, oh, sorry. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> well, he's, uh, well, there's actually, okay, so leadership structure is a little bit complicated right now. There's, so there's the military, the actual <laughs> military of Wanli Ray as a whole, right? And their person in charge of them is General Figara. Um, and they are pretty reasonable, uh, right, right person, um, that get along with them fine for the most part. Um, and then there is, and then there's the high branch, uh, the high branch Gira Deep River. And she is in charge of the branches, which is the city guard effectively uh you'll see them they're the ones in the green the green and black um whereas the uh, the military is in the blue and brown the so they're they've taken up effectively arms specifically because in in sort of a time of need they've transitioned to sort of just a branch of the military because of the situation or that's my understanding anyway i i don't know if this is like protocol or just something they're doing right now sort of ad hoc or what, but that's the general gist. Um, she's not quite the tactician, quite as much of a tactician as, uh, as General Figara is. Um, so there's, there's a little bit of a uh, friction there, but I mean, they're both on the right side of this, obviously. So I can't, you take the allies you have, right? And as allies go, they're certainly not bad ones. <laughs> so basically, the right now, the city guard is acting as the, the army as well. Is that what I... Uh, they're they're a, a chunk of the army, effectively. Okay. They are, they are helping the army defend, yeah. So then my other question is, is the army always stationed here? Or were they out other places and had to be called back? They were called back, to my understanding. The army is typically roving to the entire forest, basically. Okay. Uh, occasionally, they'll have them stationed in other cities. I know that there's a fair contingent in the port city to the north, the name of which I can't remember right now. It'll come to me. Would um, I know that that city? The port city? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you sure do. Uh, let me tell you what it is. <clears throat> that city is called... Hold on, I gotta open up the map, which means I gotta find them. Oh, wait. Do I, have Dilk? I don't. Okay, hold on. Is it Corolla Dill because I'm looking at the map right now? It's not that one. Oh, okay, different one. Mm hmm. Ooh, something new You're to add in, to the map. It's uh, Nordil. Nordil. Where 
Yeah. And that one, so if I go to here and show you guys the world map, Nordil, or Nordil, I should say, is right there. Oh, wait, I didn't actually move you guys. Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. yep. We're there. Okay. So here? Did you see the ping? Yeah, yes. it's right there. And there's a there's a path that goes like from Palandin through Juan Laredo up north through the forest right to Nordil. Zarn. Nordil is naval headquarters. Yeah, so that's I yeah. would, I don't want to go anywhere near that place. Okay. No, you don't. Yes. Okay, just check just, just check. And has has only the armies come from there, correct? Uh as opposed to I mean there's certainly no civilians. No, it's just I know um obviously navy naval concerns would be for the sea. I just wasn't oh. sure if they were desperate pulling people from the navy as well. I couldn't tell you. I not all of them, just the just there might be some naval folk here. I really don't know. Really? Okay. Uh, I haven't seen anyone that's announced themselves as naval command structure at least. No one's no one's been in the, the, the war room on that front, which I expect someone high up would be, but there might be a few just naval individuals here. Maybe? I I really don't know. Okay, that's fine. I Zarn kind of absent mindedly like pulls the scarf up over his face. I'm gonna insight check that. Zarn, you're you're a five foot tall neon blue human being wearing gleaming mail and a really fancy helmet. The scarf uh, is not district not fucking disguising you here, buddy. Nix, um you get the impression that Zarn clearly is not enthused about the idea of there potentially being uh Elven Navy around. Um that he's not telling that he's not saying everything about why um there, there's something you'd probably you'd probably think nix would probably think it was something sketchy mm -hmm. yeah that's that's exactly what the, yeah, he's yeah. not being subtle about it either yeah ah <laughs> <laughs> uh. beautiful just beautiful yeah, made it 20 minutes into the game for my first shit joke. Mm -mm, we've Actually, had two already. I, I was gonna say all of them have been pretty shit, but that's also <laughs> also really valid. <laughs> well, well stated. Very well stated, sir. All right. I was um, taking that we're just shit posting seriously before, but I think oh, I just think. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, and so you guys mute. Uh, That's a good choice. <laughs> and Google mute. <laughs> and so you guys make your way to. Um, eventually, you arrive at sort of um, a larger uh, building. One that is. Um, it's a very large. Um, it's a, it's a tower basically. Um, pretty tall. Um, sort of stands above the rest of the buildings, and you've actually been able to see this for several minutes while making your way towards it. Um, um, it looks to be several stories high, and pretty much all of you, as people familiar with magic or able to cast spells, can tell very quickly. This thing is shimmering with various arcane protection and, and the like. Um, it is a well-fortified area a well-fortified building, both from physical and arcane assault. Um, not too far from it, it. Not too far from it. You see a um, um, sort of complex of buildings that are similar in sort of architectural style, also uh, defended in a similar way, though not as doesn't appear on first glance to be quite with the same amount of uh, intensity, as it were. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty large complex of, of, of these buildings. And you're not sure the purpose of them immediately. Um, <clears throat> you all are led to a uh, sort of large uh, stone uh, door. Uh, it looks to be maybe sandstone, possibly even carved from the walls of this canyon that you're in. Um, and uh, upon opening the door, or upon reaching the door, um, 
uh, he, um, Suri, uh, sort of just reaches out and, um, um, uh, pushes the door open, basically. Um, it swings open, actually, it's sort of like a French door, so it opens on both sides and lets you all in to a, uh, large like cavernous uh space that is uh, clearly some sort of just a reception entry area um mostly empty um with the exception of a staircase in the back and a uh contingent of uh guards um standing near the stairs not stiffly at attention or anything this aren't like beef eaters in london um but kind of ready to respond to people that they don't expect um and as the door swings open they um tense seeing um seeing a group of people come in following uh surrey and they one of them steps forward um female individual uh very short red hair surrey who do you have these five wish to speak to them upstairs they were involved in the fight uh do good as who did some good, as it were. That's All right. <clears throat> That's like the first time anyone has ever said that about us. I know. Just, act, just play it off. Play it off. Act cool. Act cool. <laughs> All right. And uh, she turns and looks to uh, uh, one of the other guards there. Johan, go find the general, or at least one of his, at least one of his lieutenants. See if they've got. Uh, time right now to speak to these. And a uh, sort of um, looks actually to be a half elven individual um, uh, hey. with uh, uh, you know sort of more rounded ear tips. This is one of the very few people you've seen in the city who's not just straight up an elf. Um, um, a, ma a man sort of uh, nods and uh, makes his way up the stairs at a, 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 a quick clip um, uh, and a not running, but still moving quickly. Um, so he makes his way upstairs, and you'll wait for a couple of minutes. Um, Suri sort of is like, So, how's it been going? Anything exciting happening in here? And the guy sort of just rolls her eyes. No, Suri, we've been stuck inside through all the fighting. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how far anybody got her, if you were even on duty. <sighs> Sorry, it's been me every time you've come in here, and you've come in here at pretty much the same time every day. I don't know. I don't know what the schedules are like. <laughs> uh, there's sort of just banter that goes on like that for a, a minute or two um, before yes. Johan comes back down with um, an individual trail. Way him. too much. <laughs> um, you see a very like ex uh, a very well muscled elf um, long black hair on sort of pale pale skin um, uh, the hair is tied back in a braid that falls down their back um, wearing the green and brown of the watchers which is the military here in Wamaridal and the forest Lariathan um, and they uh, follow Johan down um, and sort of stand for a second. So, I've been informed that you wish to speak with me in the War Council. Yes. I'm General Tabaran Figara. Yes, you are. You can call me Nix. Keep in your pants. Very well. And the rest of you? Uh, pleasure to meet you, Norrin Goldleaf. I'm a, I, I think I'm technically the reigning local here of the group of us. Where are you from? Uh, Greenleaf. Ah, yeah. fine town. Yeah, father's from up north. Very nice. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. And sort of turns to the rest of you one by one, expecting an introduction. Uh, so I am green, green. Zarin puts it's his hand out. Uh, they call me the Maelstrom. It's true. No, they don't. 
Ooh, a surprising ooh. number of people actually call him that. Very well. He so shakes your hand. Yeah, he has the helmet on and the scarf up. Okay. He has the asthma. It's allergies. <clears throat> it's hay fever season. So anyway, we did want to discuss some things with you guys. If uh, also that guy's had any time, <laughs> just point to the back because he's not saying anything. I pointed Carter. That's Carter. Hi. He's not big on introductions. He's going through a mute phase at the moment. Yeah, it's right. cool. He's just not. not Monks, super you know. Huge. Yeah. They're weird. He took Monks, a vow of silence know. like twenty <laughs> minutes ago. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he just. Raises it, or excuse me, they just raise an eyebrow. Yeah, it's it's a whole thing. Right. <laughs> so, why exactly do you think you merit an audience with the War Council? We have information that you might need. Yeah, I just I just dropped you know, that was awesome. information. <laughs> yes. Of pertaining to what? Pertaining to what's going on in town, and also what's going on around the, uh, the whole continent. Well, plus, we keep killing the big bad guys. Zarn, I want you to roll a persuasion check, please. I'll give you an advantage because of what Bree said. Nice, I'm actually pretty good at this. Booyah! Nice. All right. Very well. If you do have information, it's best to hear you out. Come on, then. Thank you, Sorry. Go back to the wall. You did go back to All of you. I'm sorry? He's talking to Suri. So, five of you. Let's go. Come on. I'll introduce you to the rest of the folks around the table. Um, as Suri sort of <laughs> nods. Good luck. And walks out. The five of you follow him up the staircase in the back of the room. Um, which spirals up for quite a distance, actually, before you actually get into anything other than staircase. Um, probably a good 100, 120 steps. Um, once you reach sort of the landing here, you find yourself in um, another room. And you see in this room, you didn't see any windows on the outside of the building. But from up here, you can see that there are large chunks where you can see out upon the city from in this, from on this landing. Um, they look like effectively windows from in here. Um, you gather some sort of, some sort of magical projection that allows them to view the outside from inside an otherwise in enclosed space. Um, light in here um, emanates from, as it did downstairs from, uh, <clears throat> large crystals in the ceiling um similar to those that you saw at the museum except larger less uh sort of decorative and um artsy and more utilitarian um so and then in the middle of like the a... room in the middle of this room you see a table with two other individuals um one is a brown-skinned uh elf uh woman she has uh, dark brown hair and uh, sort of uh, light brown eyes, a very prominent cheekbones, um, wearing a sort of uh, modified blue and black, or excuse me, green and black uniform. Um, this, you gather, based on what Suri told you, would be uh, the high branch gear of Deep River. Um, and then the third individual in the room is uh, wearing the... Uh, the blue and brown of the watchers um very much um a another elven individual this one a very dark skin um with uh sort of short uh very tight curls on top of her head um and uh she's her her uh, uniform is also modified slightly it's it's more a set of robes than it is a proper uh, a tunic. Um, as you as you walk into this room, uh, the general turns and says, "This is High Branch Gear Deep River. 
she is the the leader of the branches, the city guard here, who have been assisting in the uh, military efforts, as it seems to be the most pressing need at the moment. And this is um, Talu. Uh, she is our head arcanist in the Watchers. I'm sorry, what was the name of the first person? Uh, High Branch Gira Deep River. And that's... that's the coolest fucking titles! I know, right? I don't know what my notebook thank is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. It's a little cooler than under. I underworld. figure the rest of it you can spell, but... Um... It's just taller. The other two of you. These five claim to have information for us. They introduce themselves as Nyx, Norin, Bree, Carter, and the Maelstrom. Um, so, and he goes and takes a seat at the table. Tell us what you have to share. Now, before we do, I actually have a request for you. Speak. The information we have, I think, will do wonders in turning the tide of this battle, not only here, but also across the whole land. But before I can give you that information, I need a guarantee from you. And Gira speaks up. A guarantee of what, exactly? Clemency. Surprisingly, nothing big. Clemency. Clemency? Really? Yeah, what, are, what did we That's do? What, we're, what did you on. do? I. What did you do? <laughs> I take off my helmet. I pull down the scarf. My name is Zarn Puretide. I served aboard the ship the Fist of Pamplos, and as I'm sure you probably know, we are wanted criminals. And what I'm asking for is if you want to help us, or you want us to help you, you help me by clearing my name and the name of all my friends on the ship. I'm only a wanted criminal in Ildar. What the fuck? I choose not to admit about my experiences <laughs> where I may or may not have been. For the record, I just met up with these guys, like, last week. I'm not actually part of them. Fuck it. No, you're part of us now. You are part of this group now. I'm sorry. You, you don't even know them. anything about also, me. Also, Talu and Gira sort of look confused. getting jackets. What size do you wear? Talu and Gira sort of look confused. Um, but uh, the general is... General Figara, they are... You see a little bit of recognition. The Fist of Pamplos, hmm? Yes. I heard that the Fist gave our Navy quite a bit of trouble. I'm not terribly familiar with what you all have done, or particularly what's happened. I certainly see no reason to rent your entire crew, crew clemency, especially seeing as they're not here and helping. But you... You I could strike a deal with. I guess if it helps add to the whole granting him clemency thing, we have killed two separate sergeants of the Datarai in like the past two weeks. We'll get to that later. Yeah, fair enough. Just you, Puritide. I can't take that deal. It's either all of us or none of us. We've done a lot for you, and the information we have will keep your city safe. I'm not lying to you. I'm going I'm going to help end this threat, but I need to know that when it's done, me and my friends won't have to keep looking over our shoulders. If you're going to help end this threat regardless, you don't have a lot of leverage here, do you? I have information. That's the best kind of leverage I have. And giving it to us is the best way to help, yes? It is. In fact, it is, yes. It Which tells me everybody. that if you are, in fact, willing to give it up, that if you're going to help, you're going to do it whether I grant clemency or not, Zarn Puretide. Doesn't that prove what a great guy he is? Well, yeah, but I mean, wouldn't it be significantly I easier offer you to clemency break? yourself because I am generous and think you are doing a good thing. I cannot and... do that for the entire crew of your ship who are not here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the part that I was just going to say, Zarn. You're the only one proving yourself right now. Fine. I mean, we haven't looked around that much. They might legit be. 
I mean, I've never met them, but I'm sure they're lovely. Yeah. Did any of them carry a bar stool? They do not. Regardless, Zarn, if you get clemency, it might help you get the rest of them clemency as well after we fix all of this mess. That's true. And no, no one, they don't have a bard stool, but one of them did punch a hole through a ship. Tell me that story later. Is that how you got the name of your ship, The Fist? No, that's how he got his name, Thunderfist, but that's a whole separate story. Uh, that's a kink. Fine. Uh -huh. I will. Really glad you told me that story now when we first met them. I will I will take this deal. <coughs> I, I reach my hand out. You're very far away. You're like on the opposite side of the world. <laughs> I still, I still do it. I still do it. I still do it. He's just... committing to the bit. Oh Captain, God. if you got like mage hand, this would save us. I was just about time. to look to see if I had that spell. <laughs> I do actually have it. I'm just, just like, just so like. I? I just well, cool. that a deal. Mage hand high five in the air. <laughs> okay, so the information we have as of yes. right now, the way the rebellion is working is there are a number of sub commanders. There should be three to be exact. There are two four. left. Sorry, there's four, yes. So there's two left. Four minus two. There was four altogether, one in each of the cities they've been hitting. So here, Corellendil, Ravenhold, and No. Sorry, sorry. Dragonix and, and Morian, I apologize. We've taken care of the one in Corellendale. We took the care of the one here, and there's two left. And Captain Kimpte says hi. Yes. The other thing we've noticed is that each of these places they're coming from has a portal that leads back to their main base, which is supposedly located in the mountain under Ravenhold. Hmm. Yeah, we also have an idea of who their leader is. Which, oh, it's not an idea. Which Mike is blanking on the name because he forgot his notebook. Ashex. Ashex. Yes, Ashex. Ashex. Yes. At this, you see um, um, Tulu sort of perk up. Ashex. As in Ashex the Vanguard. The very same. Yep. What are you saying? And you're certain of this. Nyx will drop her uh, disguise self. Okay, that answers that question. I am absolutely certain. Ta-da! I gather that you have some inside information then, based on the dramatics. <laughs> Mother was a bard, sorry. Uh, yes, I do have I information. I was under orders to observe and report back about the activities of the rebellion and when they all came into wandering into my life if you will i took that as my cue that things needed to move forward under orders from who says uh the high branch yeah who? a very powerful patron who is interested in the well-being of this world Very well, says the general. We'll take that at face value, I suppose. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. You have. You know that there is one sub-commander in each city. You know the identity of the commander and the location of their headquarters. Yes. This is all good information, but nothing we can help you with at the moment. We're preoccupied. As exactly. We well, were hoping more to pressing help. concerns. We were hoping to help you stop the, f the flood of tieflings, if you will, the flood of Datarai in your city. And also, hopefully one possible plan, which is kind of what we did in the last city. If we can punch our way through to their headquarters, we can eliminate as many more people at the top of the chain as possible. And then from there, we will try to bamf away into their headquarters, for lack of a better term. Punch our way through is a really loose description of what we do. What is it with you and fisting? <gasps> my goodness. Him? I just don't even. I just don't. I put my helmet back on. I don't even look at her. I don't even want to know. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm a cleric. 
I beat the shit out of things. It's what I do. And I save people. Most of this beating shit, saving it, it shut up. So, you want to punch your way through the other side, get to the headquarters, punch your way through a few more, uh, important folk this time. All right. Firstly, what makes you think we haven't tried that? Secondly, what makes you think you can do it? Thirdly, what makes you think that would help in the long run? Well... Carter walks up beside Zarn, cracks his knuckles, and says, We've done it before. Yeah. It's I true. mean... Come on. The yeah, actual really? could actually help, I... You know, I just sort of assume that when we do things, it will just work. Deep River um, gets sort of a, a glint in her eye and takes a look at the five of you. You said you'd taken out two sub-commanders. Yes. Mm -hmm. Elaborate. <laughs> So Yo -Yo we teleported into a building, we killed Yo-Yo Ma, then we ran into this place, a little nepotist the jumped across the creek, knocked them back into the creek, then they jumped back across, then we punched them back, <laughs> and back and forth and back and forth. It was kind of, you ever see ping pong? Can you get to the point? Anyway, we actually did oh. legitimately, so we teleported into the base back in, um... Corallandale. Uh, thank Corallandale, God I yes. bricked on that town name. Uh, we teleported to the <laughs> base of Corallandale. Right? We killed a dude. Asmodin. Yes. Yeah. Very strange yo-yo, uh, which Carter has now. And then when we got here, we punched our way through even more people. Um, and then sort of just got jumped at by a very large person. Whose name I can't remember. Whose name I legitimately am working on, but I'm going back. Dominion? Uh, fought a large Dominion, person. Right. The pale blue one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You might like find them floating down tall. the river at this point. Yeah, we may. No, they... they were on the other side and we shot them several times. Oh, I thought they were in the river when we killed them. No, they were definitely on the other side of the river. Surrounded oh, okay. by people. And they got dragged away. They so did, you can yeah, go ahead and carried away. Anyway. Oh, right. Uh, Deep River speaks up. You claim to have killed. Dominion in the fray that just occurred. Yeah, like mm -hmm. 20 minutes ago, yeah. I put three arrows into their back as they lay on the ground unconscious. Yes. I, I may have them. gotten under their skin, too. I dropped a whole winter storm on them. I turned into a bird. Much. It was fun. <laughs> Carter points to Tiny Bree. She turned me invisible. It was pretty fun, actually. All I right. turned into a giant eagle at the end, but that's 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 not that wasn't related to the battle. I just like to brag about. I would like Carter to make a persuasion check. <clears throat> with advantage? <laughs> no. Hey. You get advantage with you helping, but he has disadvantage because this is kind of an unbelievable claim. Accurate, but difficult to believe. Oh, you better hope for a high roll, guys. You guys start taking trophies from shit. I mean, we would have had well, the body. They were far away. Right side. Yeah. Fourteen. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. You, Sorry. Is... you know Zone of Truth, right? I do. But they're not going to believe me doing it. And you yeah. would need to have some permission before you cast That's, something I was like going that. to definitely ask the next sentence I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid that most spells cast in here... <laughs> won't have much effect unless someone affiliated with us casts it. Then do you know somebody who knows the truth? Cause... Like, we can just make this a lot quicker. No one available at the moment. Most of our... I would say, what if we go are... outside, but that's not going to make you feel <clears throat> comfortable? No, Is there, like, terribly. a room that's, like, the spell room? No, it's... No. In any case, assuming what you say is true, very well. You've taken out two of the leaders. Like 50% of the way there. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. I'm still afraid they still hold the south side of the river entirely. Now, if you think that you can fight your way through, I think this ties in nicely to what I was saying before you came in. We could mount a full-scale assault as soon as tomorrow, even. 
they're weakened now. We could do it. And then the general speaks up. <sighs> High branch, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I still don't think it's wise. I would agree. They wouldn't have made that attack if they didn't have the numbers to back it up with heavy losses. Attacking would be foolhardy and accomplish nothing. And then, once again, uh, Deep River speaks up. Now's the best chance we're ever going to have. We have a wild card in these five, and they've just sustained heavy losses. If we don't attack now, when will we? How will we ever win the city back? I... I actually agree. I feel as though it would probably help us to rest up, to wait a day, but I feel like we gotta go now. We just took out their leader, and from what I saw as they ran off, they looked pretty demoralized. So the longer we give them to recuperate, the longer they'll have to mount a successful defense if we do launch this assault at all. We don't have to solve this with military force. We've been holding, but it's been a stalemate the entire time, and we took losses as well. Well, then... I think it's time for a diplomatic solution. Either diplomatic or something a little more subtle than that. Well, if you want to do dip d diplomacy, they want something very simple. They want to be treated as equals, and they want to not be known as lesser beings. I now, agree with you. If you guys would have treated like them in the first place, we wouldn't be in this goddamn mess. But that's a whole other thing for another day. You are preaching to the choir, sir. I did not become head of a military by being a jackass to people who wanted to serve or anyone else. I apologize, then. I did not mean to offend you. The other option is to send a small, quiet, stealthy team to possibly handle matters themselves. And, it would uh, just... Tulu speaks up. What matters specifically would a small team have? Their leader is already dead. The leader here, but if you want to get rid of the entire of the rebellion, you'd have to go further in. You would have to go to Ashex. If the five of you want to make your way to Ashex, I see no reason you couldn't do that. You don't need our blessing. No, but we could use your help in getting there. If you could create a diversion somehow for us to possibly use their methods that they used to get into the city to get out. Do you know what those are? As far as I'm aware, and I believe this is correct, DM, um, under every city that they have invaded, they have a teleportation circle. Yes, so you know that there is a, a very large teleportation circle, at least one in all of the cities that they've come up to. Now, you have no idea where in this right. city that circle would be. Right. The only catch is I don't know where that would be, and we would need to find that out. And if I recall correctly, we'd well, we would also need to find the... Sending word, if you will. Yes. Uh, Tulu. Yes. A large-scale teleportation circle, one that would take a long time to set up. That would require quite a bit of planning. Some place, someone in the city, then. Sympathetic, originally. Someone with space and... And connections. Kind of, and connections, yes. Do you have some a city map? Place. Uh, yes, yes, we do, and, uh, the general sort of actually, uh, swipes, uh, like, a hand over top of the table, and you watch as it shifts and changes into a fully topographic, um, city map. Oh my okay. god, every place is so much fucking cooler than the last one. Alright, I'm sorry, so... I've been holding that in for, like, all like five minutes now. This room is fucking sweet. All right, so Zarn's going to step up and uh, kind of walk to the map. So he points to... Me, do you mind if I draw on the map for a second? Go for it. Okay. So basically everything here, that is all controlled by the data, right? Correct? Yes, effectively. Okay. Now, in that area, do are the, are the Arcanists still in the room? The Arcanist is still in the room, yes. The one. I turn to the Arcanist. Uh, if you wouldn't mind... On this map, if you were setting up a large-scale teleportation circle, what area do you think would work best? What area do you think we'd be able to fit it secretly and to shuffle in a lot of people? Just narrow down as many sites as you can. In Krellendil, they were using a bar. A yeah. bar? Yeah. Presumably, 
uh, in asthma. Something like that. Yeah. What was it yeah. called? <clears throat> yeah, Nyx. Yes. You know that it was the Burnt Heart Tavern, and they were using a hidden, like, secret chamber, large one, that subterranean near the basement. It was underground in... Oh my god, I just lost the fucking Burnt name. Heart. I'm so sorry. Burnt, Burnt Heart, Heart, yes. It was underground in the Burnt Heart, and uh, had a secret entrance to it. So, given... So it could conceivably of be... Uh, she sort of thinks for a second. It could conceivably be... like the Burnt Lung. Is that like a bar here? <sighs> you see, uh... I have no idea how hard it is not to have silence on you sometimes. There's a the sort of smirk on Tara's <clears throat> face, whereas the other two are just stone-faced. Hmm. Well, it Let me know if you ever be... want it, because I can do it too. It could be someplace hidden that we wouldn't even know. Subterranean could be attached to almost anything. Um, if it's inside, it couldn't be out in the open properly. That would be much too easy to scout, but potentially inside of the building, the private one. Um, but it's difficult to say. There's a number of options, not anything I could realistically narrow down without having more information. That's what we scouts would, are for, aren't they? We'd want to find out who, who the contact is. If you wanted to find the rotation circle. Hmm. Can I do a investigation check on the map and see if I can try to cross-reference taverns or anything like that? Or is it not that big of a map? I mean, it's the size of a table, like it's pretty big. Um, but like there's no, there's not like labels on most things, certainly not like individual taverns. Like you can you pick out like the building that you're in and you can pick out the university and like there's some other complexes that you like you recognize some of the topography on the south side from when you were on top of the canyon um but you uh all right can i at least try to pick yeah up? you can you can roll an investigation check and you're trying to just see if you can pick out any ideal spots. Oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. I forgot you named it that. <laughs> Zarn, there's, um... It's it's difficult. Like, like she said, there's a lot of places that are conceivably large enough based on her, based on Nyx's description and to lose sort of opinion of what it would take. There's a lot of places that are conceivably large enough to fit it. Um... And not to mention the possibility that it's someplace underground and completely invisible to a map like this. Yeah. Is this city pretty well integrated? Uh, same or mix. are yeah. there like tiefling districts? Um, That's a good question. Did you just I ask mean, if there are ghettos? No. No, that literally is what there is in Krill. Yeah, actually, that would be yeah, a good as thing. Asmodee was literally a ghetto mix, and you would know that. Yeah. Mm. It is, it's called Asmodee, named after Asmodeus. It's yeah. a really shitty name. Yeah, they're had a feeling. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway. Um, the high branch speaks up. It's integrated insofar as there aren't any racially specific areas any more any less integrated than anywhere else, but the population is probably ninety-five percent elf. When you say any more, like was there one in the past? Mm, and not in was the there recent a tavern history, in the certainly. Of it? Not it, if it's been before my lifetime, and that's oh, okay. So like, a I'm not young, couple. but yeah, I get you. It's my been a while. My dad's elf, and I get Who you. was it that said that? Uh, Deep River. Okay. And she looks like middle aged for an elf, which is you know like 400 years old. Yeah, she's yeah. she's kicking around for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, So just out of conjecture here, say you were trying to start a tiefling uprising, who would you go to first in this town? Hypothetically. Somebody high up, with a lot of time, money, and space. Yeah, I mean, who, who would benefit the most from a change in leadership, so to speak? The general sort of they all think for a second and in general speaks up. I mean, as you say, the demands that they have are not complex 
or the at least the reason that they have for fighting and not complex they just want equality which our leaders were working to give via admittedly very slow social change and and political process which i mean other than literally this is there any end? what say that again you cut out a bit Oh, I was going to say, other than literally the rebellion that we're currently in, I'm pretty sure there is no other social change other than plotting deadly slow or armed rebellion. I agree. I'm not saying I don't understand their motivations, yeah. but, and um, you see Deep River sort of what? wrinkle her nose at that. Yes. Um, are there any of the tieflings that I saw that looked like Try to, like, were there any looked like second in commands or anything like that? Uh, you didn't really get a chance to tell. Oh, okay. Honestly, like, you were sort of just cutting your way through, like, like opposing forces, and then yeah, suddenly the minion you. was on top of you, and you were pretty busy with that. Yeah, no problem. Um, so there's yeah. nobody I could like scry on and do that. No, you didn't really yeah, get any specific faces yeah, other than the minion. Um, I have another question. Hold on, let me. Um, just a second. Um, so General Figara sort of thinks, well, I don't know if they would necessarily benefit, but if we're looking for tieflings with power, the Liberas, relatively wealthy family probably the most well-known tieflings in the city i don't know that they'd be that they'd be involved at all but off the top of my head they're the only ones i can think of that doesn't by any means mean that it's them no idea of their involvement hell they're they, along with most of the other wealthy individuals, lived on the south side. For all I know, they were being held captive just like many other important people. The ambassadors, I'm sure some of our elected officials, including the high officer. The data I have the upper hand, as it were, and he sort of gives a sideways, a sideways glance to uh, Deep River at that. I'm going to insight that. Okay. I can find that. Um, you get the impression that he's, they have very different opinions of the strategy going forward. Ah. He seems to think that they are on the back foot, even after sort of the victory here. Mm -hmm. um, whereas you get the impression that uh, Deep River feels like they've won a victory and they should press the advantage. So, and that's, that's what that glance was sort of a, yeah. we're on the back foot, you moron. Like, <laughs> oh, you mm -hmm. um, no, it's fine. I just, I just finished four things. Um, at this point, you will actually start to hear a, um, another pair of footsteps. Um, the same, uh, male guard, Johan comes, uh, up the stairs, uh, this time in a bit more of a hurry. General, uh, Council, excuse me, there's been, um, there's a development. Another individual, um, claims to be an escaped prisoner of the Datarai. He says he has information that he wants to share. And the General sort of looks at the five of you. This could be useful. Do you mind if we just like, hang out for this? Because I'm. Please do. Please I would also it. like to be here Actually, for this. Actually, please do. Yes. I'm, I'm going to just very casually put respite down beside my foot. You're going to put it down? Did you have like, it summoned? No, that's what I mean. I'm just going to like very casually to my leg. Oh, you like summon it and like. Yeah, it just like. Okay. Just like I'm casually leaning on it like I always. Like a flaming sword on me. Okay. Um, Johan sort of looks at you guys and then back to them and nods and makes his way back down the stairs at a pretty quick clip. Um, uh, a little bit later, probably 30 seconds or so, you hear um, 
you hear some footsteps coming and um it sounds like uh, a couple of there's it's johan and um another individual behind him um looks to be um a human man uh, uh sort of a pale skin though much of it is covered in tattoos um from the skin that you can see anyway which is would be the forearms uh, up just past the elbow uh, a little bit of the neck and down into the chest um, as this individual is sort of wearing very ragged um well-worn um and dirty um what appears to be uh sort of just tunic and uh a, a simple uh cloth pants um long uh brown hair tied back in a ponytail um the five of you look at this individual sort of like curious to see what happens except for one of you carter you immediately recognize this person as clark i knew this was coming (laughs) carter had knowing what was going to happen brought out his uh, staff and was like holding it in one hand getting ready but as soon as Clark comes in he just drops it and runs over and just puts two hands on his shoulders what the fuck are you doing here you know Carter? him yeah I mean you guys all take a closer look and you oh, can see Is this your brother? for the different hair and the tattoos he looks a lot like Carter oh god there's two of them oh god Fuck, we gotta get so many more cloaks made! What color are you? <laughs> Damn it, beat me to it! <laughs> I, you can't just ask someone that. And sorry. <laughs> Jesus! And, <laughs> and that was Zarn saying that, also, not, not Mike. <laughs> total side note, Brock speaking here. Fucking Clark, really? <laughs> Wait, what? It, um, all is fuck. I told you I had a DC so thing going. The yeah. prisoner, uh, Banjo, is a tattooed individual with long brown hair in sort of raggedy tunic and pants who appears to be Carter's brother, Clark. Okay, then. Um, as Carter runs up and uh, sort of Johan sort of like gets up on him and then uh, the general sort of like you know this man? Just Carter is, is just looking him up and down and just I haven't seen him in five years. But I'll recognize the face everywhere. And then turns to face the general. My brother. Are you guys being dicks? That does not mean what you think it does. <laughs> That's a phrasing issue right there. Yeah. Uh, um, and sort of Clark is exactly. a bit dumbfounded, clearly, and he's sort of just like, Yes, this... Sorry. My name is Clark Danvers, and this is my brother Carter? Question Sorry. mark? I, I'm a little surprised uh, to see anyone I know here. I mean, um, same. That's an insight check. Sorry. Um, General, oh, I presume? He says, looking at Figara. And Figara sort of nods. Yes. Get, get on with it. Anyway, the reason I'm here, I... I assume that they told you I escaped during the fray. My, I've been kept by them for some time since the fighting started. I was here on unrelated business just in the city and was captured effectively by the Datari. Just poor luck, really. Um, managed to get out, but while held, I was... I mean, they've been here for two weeks. They're fighting people. They get bored when nothing's happening. There was talk. There was discussion. I have information. Do you want me to share it in front of 
everyone here, or should I speak with you privately? And the general sort of like, no, I think, Johan, take your post. And Johan nods and makes his way back down the stairs. As Johan, wa as Johan walks out, Carter just kind of like leans into Clark and kind of like playfully elbows him in the side. It's like, dude, we've already taken out two of the of two of the main dudes. Pretty great. You see her and points over to yeah, Bree. Were... She turned me invisible and I killed it while I was shooting across the river. It was pretty great. That seems useful. And yeah, you see him sort of grimacing where you hit him. Here. Nix is going to turn to the the leaders at the table and be like, do you mind if I pry a little bit? I'd like to see into his mind, but I can't do that without casting something. I don't think we can cast in here at all. That's why I'm asking. Oh, it's not a matter of how this permission, Nix. It's a matter of location. This I this see. room is censured against magic from anyone who's not a watcher. It's horrible. How long is the process to be inducted as a watcher? Long time, longer than oh. we have now. Dobby, Clark, please continue. And he sort of speaks again, sort of still uh, massaging his uh, his side. Who are you inciting next? Clark. Just for whatever he's about to say? Pretty much. Okay, cool. Um, just staring intently at him. Basically. Match is not big enough. So, uh, Clark speaks up. I was... I heard things, just being in the cell around my guards. I... Yeah. Just before I got out, there was talk of, should this go south, should it not succeed, this, this attack that they just brought out, that they were going to send some of their forces out of the canyon, out of the city, to other places in the forest. They know that or they say that they know that your forces have been centralized right. here. Three, two, They're going to one, try to five. hold other cities, other townships in the forest as a means of further exerting pressure on you. Um, Is there any Nick, going, uh, your insight check? So far as you can tell, oh, he yeah, seems... Yeah. He seems honest. It's a difficult to tell. He's... He's in a little bit of shock right now, and is in a hurry and, like, speaking very rapidly, just out of a combination of what appears to be exhaustion and con and, and, and confusion and surprise and um, just... There's, there's a lot going on with him right now, but best you can tell, he seems to be being honest. Okay. I mean, we, we were probably going to be, but uh, LaPupka always has Duh, So, would Nyx know exactly how difficult it would be to saying, get... Like, we're, we're pretty much right? newer than we have As a stuff. prisoner? It's actually not. Um, you know, it, it's hard to tell. Like, you know that in... In Corellendil, it would have been pretty tough, but Corellendil was not as established of a location. There wasn't, like... Boredom never set in amongst the forces. You never had a direct full frontal assault being called, other than the very first one before prisoners would have been a thing. Mm -hmm. um, you don't know where they're keeping prisoners here. You don't know who's keeping them or like what the the emotional state or like general like how they treat them. The guard. Yeah, how how they treat how they would treat the prisoners here specifically because you don't know the people here. Right. Not that well, anyway, right? Like, you were in a totally different, like, yeah. unit, effectively. Yeah. So, just... not really. Shh. He didn't, he didn't, I got inside. Carter. Does he yeah. seem, aside from the obvious emotional state, does he seem like his usual self to you? Carter takes a step back and looks him up and down. 
Can I make like a insight check or something? Yeah, I'll let you make an insight check. With advantage because I've known him for my whole life? You've known him for your whole life, but you also haven't seen him very much in the last several years, so no, no advantage. Fourteen. Uh, it seems like he's being honest to you. Um, he's nervous. That much is clear. And more what than nervous, he's... There's a lot of emotions happening in this guy right now. Some combination of, 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 yeah, of yeah. nervousness and excitement and all those things I just told Nix that he was feeling. And you can see them like all dancing across his face and his, 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 his body. There's a lot going on internally right now. turns back to Nyx. I mean, if what he says is true, which I believe him, he's just nervous. Obviously, what he went through was probably not something you want to relive. So, yeah, I believe him. It's just right now he's a little shaken up. Oh, I can see that. She just folds her arms and goes quiet. Well, I like him. You like him. It turns back to Clark. We're going to have to talk about what you were doing here because I'm not going to lie, dude. It sounds sketchy. I was... This isn't going to help. I don't think. I had a feeling. I have been for years now, since last you saw me, and actually since before then. I've been looking for Ashex. I didn't know she was doing this. I heard her name thrown around while I was in the cell, so I picked up on what she's doing now. I assumed she was dead somewhere. I was making a history. She's... I mean... I've always been interested in history, Carter, you know that. And she's she's fascinating and she trained originally at the Temple of the Hundred Handed, Carter did you know that? Fuck Did he know that? No, you didn't Okay No, I mean I, I only knew of So hang on I'm gonna look because I know I have that written down I know I wrote it down. I didn't write it down. Okay. Okay. That's why. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um. So that's that's the one you went to. Yes. When this was obviously decades ago that she trained there, but she's been back since. I even saw her there saw her. and. Once when she came back. Sorry, no, he wouldn't have. That's wrong. I redact that. He didn't say that. My apologies. I got my time frame just way off. Um, anyway, I, she's she's been back to, to teach there before. She's been other places. Carter, the Monastery of the Dark Moon. She's the only one who's received one of your weapons who wasn't trained there. The only person ever in the history of the monastery. not helping right now you know that like i found out she was in charge of this we all thought she was dead now she again she turns up and she's in charge right. of this oh, tiefling okay. like yes right i sorry it yes i wasn't expecting was her to be alive even like well, this. i thought she was dead too i do f does failey's dad know about any of this I haven't... No. I haven't seen anyone in, in years, Carter. I've been... I've been busy. Busy? Yes. Aside from being a prisoner. I've been a prisoner for two weeks. And before that? I was traveling, searching, writing my histories. Like I just said. Did they conf obviously they confiscated your stuff when they took you prisoner, correct? Yeah, but I 
I don't have my books anymore, but it seems less important now. Well, did you have them when they took you? Yes. I could use a mag for... There could be some, I'm not going to lie, there could be some very valuable information in that book. Possibly. About Ashex, I suppose, but I assume that if they looked through it and found anything they considered valuable, yeah, they probably just, burned it, to be honest. Question, um, Clark. How exactly did you escape? You just said during the fray. Honestly, mostly sheer luck. It was call of the blur for nothing. A changing of the guards and the new ones were frustrated about not being able to get into the fray, and I, I think Alright, kid, let's get inside. Yeah, Zarin doesn't trust him at all. They I honestly don't know how it happened. I, I don't, but they left the keys too close to me. They left the keys? Yes. Just next to the cage? On let's, someone's let's belt, technically, case. but yes. Jesus fucking Christ, Nix! Did my 15 get anything off that story? Everything, he, see, he really does seem like he's being honest. Nix is going to turn to the council people behind her. What do you make of this? The escape seems perhaps a bit difficult to believe, but I don't think we can afford to ignore this kind of information. If they're going to send people to the other cities, the other towns in the forest, we have to respond. We can't let that happen. We have a duty to every citizen yep. in the Forest of Rife and not just the ones here. Exactly. But yeah. do we know if this is just a trap? We... The whole thing just yep. seems a little weird. We just killed their leader, and they're in disarray, and this guy happens to escape because the keys are left next to his cell? Let's, um... I... I and this is clear. I, I realize how it looks. I do, but... I, I came straight here. I, I'm doing what I can Whoops. to help. Hey, like, that's a treat. No, no, I, it's appreciated. It's just... Hard to. I know. I know it's difficult to believe. I, I tr no. you truly do. It's not difficult to believe. What's difficult is for me to believe that they didn't send you here. Who is they? What? The Datari. What better way to draw forces out of the city than to claim, oh, they're going to send other people to other places and weaken the force that they have here? You may be right. They may have specifically been planting information. That's a fair thing that I hadn't considered. Yeah, you can... Don't take it personal, Clark. Just, I've lived a life full of danger, and I I made it this far by being cautious. Just, no, it's not nothing about you. The whole situation I, just seems a bit I odd. appreciate the virtue of caution, certainly. Me. You're right. Um, Nyx, was it? Yes, you may call me Nyx. The, um... That's a possibility. It is. I I cannot speak to the sheer veracity of any of my statements by the nature of it's possible that I was being fed lies, I was being fed information. I You're right. That's legitimate. Oh, we already murdered it. Would you be willing to take us back in? To where? To where you were being held. To what end? Well, you saying they're leaving, and we need to send the entire army, which, if they are leaving, that's a great plan. But, what if you took us to where you're being held, and we do a little investigation of ourselves, and that way we know for sure whether or not this is just planted information, or if it's true information? Do you know awesome. what a teleportation circle is? I don't know anything about a teleportation circle, and I don't think they're planning on, based on what I heard, I don't think they're planning on sending uh, the entire army, just small chunks. Enough. 
to hold yeah. small towns, to to cause uh, trouble uh, elsewhere. Here, While they, I assume, stay in a stalemate here, problem. which I assume it's been for the past two weeks, seeing how there's not been much change. Right. That's the what I heard from the guards, anyway. And the general sort of nods. Zarn Still turns. Oh, sorry. Yes. Zarn turns to Carter. Um, he's your brother, so you have the final word. I'm just, I'm just cautious. That's all I'm saying. No, I get you. I do. If we went back, could you get us there? Um, uh, UMP, UMP is definitely better than that. Probably. I was yeah, running out in a bit of a hurry, but I think I could direct you back. I'm still not sure why, though. What benefit would going back to the cells give you? Find Satisfaction? Some yeah, find some information. And honestly, if we can get there and they have not disposed of all of your writings, it might help us get a glimpse into what changed in Ashex's thought process to all of a sudden go from, you know, life of seclusion to all of a sudden full on tiefling rebellion. It's hard. I mean, I don't remember anything that would have said anything like that. And I wrote it. You can get that from me, regardless of whether we have the writings. I've been doing the research, but nothing I came to thus far anyway has been indicative of that sort of shift. But I'll admit our trail was, it's been over. Yes, it's been 20 years since she disappeared. And she wasn't exactly the most upfront person to begin with. So, what were you hoping would happen by coming to us with this information? I just needed to give the military leaders here the information. I felt it important that they know. I didn't think anyone else would reasonably have it. Okay. I'm just trying to do a good deed. And we appreciate it's admirable. that. Yeah, don't... Don't take this, this is, like we said, this is not a personal thing, it's just the whole situation doesn't add up very well. I'm happy you came to us. Not us, the leaders. We're happy you came here. Yeah, thank you, Nix. Speaking she's of which... Gonna, oh, go yeah, ahead. she's gonna turn to the council. At this point, Tulu actually speaks up. You... You are surrounded by magic. And she's directing this at Clark, and he sort of, he sort of looks at her. Well, yes, and he gestures at the tattoos. They're part of the order. They give me strength. They give me... They increase my power and agility. It's, it's, it's part of the... It's part of our training and part of our part of if us. Worse, part of no, Carter, Carter steps forward and he's like, he's being honest. He showed up to my wedding five years ago and he had him about half done. Trust me. They, they're they not malicious intent. It's a, it's a monk thing. They weren't created with malicious intent, maybe. Are we sure that there's not some other spell at work here? You said yourself you've been a prisoner for two weeks. We don't know what's happened there. I want, and I turn back to the to the leaders. Is there a way you can determine if there's another spell in place here, or if this literally is just coming from his tattoos? It's part of his. I'm. Uh, Tony speaks up. I'm not as familiar with how his tattoos work, but I can try see if I can get anything specific off of him. I turn back to any way that. Yeah, good. I was going to say, any way that we could assist you with that? What? Say that again. Any way that we could assist you with that? I'm afraid not. Um, but I appreciate the offer. 
And so uh, Tilly sort of stands, and you can see as she stands, she is really tall, like six foot four, probably. Extremely tall, extremely slender. Um, and she makes her way over um, and sort of looks down at Clark. And you see as she sort of speaks some words and makes a few uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, elegant, elegant, like swishing motions with her hand um, and her eyes sort of turn a solid gold as uh, glowing lightly as she stares directly at Clark and you see her face like almost like a like a scanner just running down his body. And Clark stands still the whole time, just not not doing anything, not reacting, not responding. And then she blinks a couple of times and the gold fades. There are a number of incantations in his skin. Nothing, nothing that seems temporary. Nothing that seems. Everything is built into the tattoos. Okay. That's a good sign. Is it possible for that magic to have been altered in some way? It's possible but just simply by the nature of how tattoos work it seems like it'd be difficult i don't know for sure and i can't answer that i'm afraid well what do you three intend to do with the information you've been given and um Figara says, uh, we'll have to think on it, of course. We can't make any decisions immediately, but we've been... This is good information to have, all of it, even if it is not necessarily all strictly reputable. Apologies, Clark. But... I remain of the opinion that I think a diplomatic solution is the best one. Especially if they're planning on... Yes, precisely. Especially if they're planning on sending troops to other cities. We can't let that happen if we have to split our forces. So, what do you think they'll, like... A diplomatic solution, we all know what they want. Can can you offer that right away? I don't see how you can just be like, oh, we're equal now. Their demands are... command, effectively. They don't just want equality, they want to be in charge so that they can guarantee so they can guarantee it effectively. Yeah. And so I think a diplomatic solution boy. involves a discussion of a new a new leadership structure here in the city. Yes. And in the Force Riot. Yeah, that's where, that that's where there's people. Explicitly includes tieflings in it. I mean, if it helps, if it's any idea, I mean, we were in Dragonix, and uh, they had a whole, like, council system set up of, like, people from different districts and stuff like that. We have a parliamentary democracy here, and it's similar, though more organized than Dragonix's system. Well, like, Um, where would you even go? But I'm familiar, yes. And it could be something along those lines. Details would need to be worked out, but I'm sure we could come to some sort of happy medium, avoid bloodshed on both sides, and hopefully allow for peaceful resolution of this and avoid, to the extent possible, long-term racial um, tensions. I, I agree. I think it's a great idea. I just I feel like there's people in this rebellion who that's what they want. I feel like there's some that maybe want something more, and I'm just worried that I think there's the bad ones are going to come to the top. Gonna be, yeah, I have a I have a bad feeling that at least some number of them are still not going to be satisfied with this. Would Nyx know of anybody that may have discussed something like that while she was gathering information? You know that the you know yeah. what the oh shit. You know what the end goal of the 
Rebellion always has been, um, mm -hmm. which has been tiefling control we wanna, we wanna... temporarily the with the intent of handing it, with the out. intent of transitioning to a proper democratic system in all of these places. Mm -hmm. um, crash, run, crash, run, crash, run. To ensure yeah. proper democracy, or at we, least we that's Oshak's vision. Workouts. Yeah. Um, your, what you gathered while you were in Ferelandil is that that is maybe not realistic based on just these are people who are angry. Um, Oshex has a very noble vision. Um, but her followers are a little less so. Yeah, you get, you basically get, you will probably hold the opinion that perhaps Oshex is somewhat naive in this way. Yeah. And they were getting funded by demon. Um, so... Kinda, sorta. <laughs> so, um... Actually, um, Clark, question. In yes? your travels, in your imprisonment, in all the time, have you ever heard mention of someone called the Golden Lord? Golden Lord. The demon? You have, yes. Yes, I'm familiar. He's a relatively high ranking demonic individual. I don't know much more about him, though. Oh, we beat him, kicked his ass. Yeah, shit could go us. Yeah, but more importantly, he was masquerading as someone else in charge of Ravenhold, and he employed an entirely tiefling guard force. Now, I don't know if this was the Datari or just a separate thing, but... C Carter can't... leans into Clark. It's like, you remember at the wedding... Oh, no, that was five years prior, so he, that, that wouldn't yep. have been the thing. So technically, he doesn't know about that. Mm -mm. Back. Okay. Never or, mind. I mean, you don't know if he knows about that anyway. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, I just... I, I feel like there's some connection there. And the person who had the answers was taken from us. That's not... It's not impossible. I don't know. No. So with that, and Zarn's going full, like, conspiracy mode theory here. So with that, if we put them in charge to get equality, which is great, how do we know the person who gets in charge doesn't want equality? They want to give the Golden Lord more power and all this other stuff, and it's... I need to sit down. Zarn officially has his tinfoil hat on. I was it, just about to ask if somebody yeah. had tinfoil. At, at this point, <laughs> he has a centurion so. helmet. This is this is too much. There's too much risk here, with especially with this information about the poss possibility of a demon lord being involved. We have to take the fight to them. We have to. Yes, we'll sustain losses, but there's not a better way. There's not a better way. There's not one cover, and there's not. And the general sort of yeah. crosses his arms and sighs deeply. I can tell you right now, diplomacy is going to be the harder way. Oh, the harder way is not necessarily yeah. the wrong way. It's always the harder way. I know. But you also got to think about it in their shoes, yeah, too. Definitely. And I'm not convinced it is the harder way to boot, because I think we lose the all-out attack route. Either way, you're going to lose a lot of people. There's no avoiding that. Yeah. Yep. We've already lost a lot of people. And there will be more loss. Yep. And peace will be the lesser loss. I agree. Talking is not... A bad idea. This is assuming, though, but... that the other side is willing to discuss anything. Yeah, it is. It exactly. did kind of just kill their commander. Presumably, that they too. have they have a leadership structure, I assume. Yeah, yeah. but I would assume yeah. they're less willing to talk at the moment. Yeah. Or they could be more willing. Depends on who That's it is. That's true. In the, yeah. Oh no! In the end, no. it is entirely your choice, but. I keep yes, thinking back is. to a teaching I learned at the temples uh, in my youth that if you want peace, you have to prepare for war. And I can't get that out of my head. So I figured I'd just share that. 
We are as prepared for war as this city has ever been, Zarn Pyrtide. Just Zarn. You don't need the whole thing, but thank you. <laughs> Mr. Pyrtide is my father. They didn't right. say Mr. I know. Thank you, all of you, for your time. Is there anything else you have to share with us? Not that I can think of. What would you have us do? That's exactly Because right. clearly a plan needs to be done. Needs to be yeah. thought up. Leave the planning to us. That's our uh, job. I got you. I got you. The five, well, six of you are free to do as you please, so far as I'm concerned, as long as it doesn't interfere with our military efforts directly. I would say... If we do end up making a full frontal assault, your assistance might be useful, but I am disinclined to take that path, though discussions will continue, he says, looking at the high branch. In the meantime... If you think you know a way to get to... Ashex, who apparently... Apparently what? You cut out a little bit. Sorry. If you think that there's a way to get to Ashex, if you five know where she is, if she is in fact in charge of this rebellion, that might be the most useful thing for the five of you to do. Or... But I will not pretend to give you instructions. You are not... I do not hold any sway over you. Exactly. But when we have a way, we just need to figure out how to get there. Reminder for Nick. Yes. You know it's that there are physical way. ways to get there, too. You don't have to take a teleportation circle. Right. It's just, you know, work yeah. smarter, not harder, right? So. Yep. Yeah. From a time <sighs> standpoint. I mean, we could pay... It's... Ravenhold? Yes. Yep. Yeah, we could pay Ravenhold a visit, but that would take some time to get there, if I recall correctly. Yes. Yep. A couple of things, Snakes. Um, mm -hmm. The stronghold is in sort of the center ish of this mountain, White Feather Mount, which right. Ravenhold is built into on the east side. There are tunnels on the east and west sides of the mountain. Right. So you wouldn't actually have to go all the way to Ravenhold if you wanted to go in one of the western tunnels, as a note. Good well, to know. Wouldn't we have to go through the wilderness, though? Are yes. you afraid of some trees? No, not at all. I'm just saying. Norin is. is. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> we've, we've been attacked. We've had bad experiences. Yeah, I had a really bad experience with a tree. Like... We should have a talk. Ago. At this point, the general speaks up. Thank you, all six of you, for your help. Clark. I wish I could offer you assistance in recovery from your ordeal, but I'm afraid our clerics are otherwise occupied with the more seriously injured. Oh, well, how we, how injured does, does Clark look? Clark is not seriously injured. You notice he grimaced a little bit when, when Carter elbowed him playfully. Um, he doesn't look, like, visibly injured or anything. He mostly just looks worn and exhausted like he's been through a thing as someone who's been in prison for two weeks probably would have been um like carter is a like he's a fit individual and it doesn't look like he's malnourished or anything like it doesn't look like he hasn't been eating um but carter or clark excuse clark. me Clark okay. is a fit individual. It doesn't look like he hasn't been eating. Like, it doesn't look like they were starving him when he was in prison or anything like that. And it doesn't look like they were beating him. Like, like there's no signs thing? of specific, like, cruelty to him. Right? But he's still been in prison for two weeks. Not able to move much. Like, not a lot of communication. Minor muscle atrophy, maybe. Yeah. Something along those lines. And just generally, like... If... It, if it weren't for like the tattoos and sort of the general like the the post like the tattoos and the robes and stuff, you could see this guy being like a librarian. Uh is there anything a cure wounds would do? 
you can do it. It might. I mean, he doesn't. He's not missing any hit points right now. Let me put it that way. Um, but it, if you wanted to do it like as a, maybe this will make you feel better. Scenario. Maybe wait till we're outside though. Cause it's yeah, just not that too. Here. It you Car get the impression of like minor aches and pains. Yeah. Carter puts an arm around his, uh, around Clark's shoulders, and he's like, "It's all right. We just got to get a stiff drink in him. He'll be all right." Stiff drink, nice, good night rest should be enough for him. Actually, I'll have I have an idea. Um, Clark, if you don't mind, when we get outside, I'd like to have a word. With you. <clears throat> All right, that that should be fine. No, it's... And he turns to uh, Clark. Turns to the the three on the war council. I appreciate your time and your understanding. I hope my information uh, proves useful. Where I Thank you. And the six of you turn and make your way downstairs and presumably out of the building? Yes. Probably. As soon as we get outside, I want to pull Clark aside for a second. Like, aggressively or just like... No, hey, just like, can just come with me. I wanted to speak with you for a second. Uh, all right. It's on, correct? Yes. Um... So, I understand you've been through a lot, and again, I wanted to make it you know that inside was not anything about you, it was about just the situation in general, but if you don't mind, I was hoping maybe you'd accept some of my advice. Um, I have, I would be foolish to reject advice from any source. So, I, I don't know what you went through while you were being held captive. But what I can try to do is give you advice on how to try to handle it. Uh, uh, you don't know much about me. I'm a cleric of Pamplos. I don't know if you've heard of Pamplos. If you haven't, look him up. Yes, cool I dude. have. Yeah, cool dude. Um, the one piece of advice I can give you, and actually I've, I've had a similar talk with your brother about this. There's a lot of stuff we go through as people. And the best advice I can give you is just think of all the negative things and just let them... Just let him wash away. And I kind of put my hand on his shoulders and I dump a level one cure wounds just for flavor's sake. And is there dust on the ground in front of me? Um. No, except for what's come off of sort of like, sort of like on Carter's clothing. There's a lot of like dirt and grime, but there's no like, there's no like, like dust on the street right okay yeah i'm just looking for like just like a pile of dirt or anything like on the ground no, not really like these are like uh paved paved streets in the city basically okay god they're elves not orcs all right that helps it doesn't help my metaphor at all all right uh so then i i try to wipe some of the dust and stuff off of his cloak or his clothes mm -hmm. and now that that's on the ground uh i point down to the look do you think the ground ever will get this dirt off of it by worrying about it? Probably not. But, and I use my cantrip of shape water, being a genasi, and I throw a water orb at it and wash away all the dirt. Now, if you let the, just all the negative stuff wash away, you're fine. You picking up what I'm putting down here? <laughs> yes, I think so. Alright. Now, I know I'm only one person. I'm not going to fix everything, but just think about it. And I give him a very awkward, like, pedal the back, and I walk back to the group. Just the keep it up, chance to get a pedal back. Yeah. Okay. Right, um, he so follows you back, um, and sort of thanks you. So, um, what exactly are the five of you doing here? here? It's a long story, bro. It How really did is. you? Carter, how do you know these people? I, I actually have a whole scroll if you got some time to read. It's it's it's. it's I a would long love story. that actually. Oh, yeah, oh my he, god! Jesus. I will need that That's back later. Bad. Yep. God. What did you say, John? <laughs> it's it's a long story. Like, let's find a place that we can just sit down and relax. It's been a long day. Two weeks for you. For everybody else, it's been a long day. Yes. We so traded we in a blue arrow talk. for a crimson one. Um, what color do you favor? He doesn't um, favor a color. 
He yeah, he can... for himself. I typically go for it. wear what I have at hand. Not a big. No, you don't like to wear no, leather yeah. armor and dye it colors. And... Not, not specifically. How I mean, do you feel about the color purple? Because I have no strong it, feelings uh, about it. Uh, good to know. Good to know. Nora takes a little piece of paper out. Just like a list of colors. Puts a little X beside purple. <laughs> so what do you plan to do with your freedom now? Well. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you. It's been a long, long time that I've been searching after Ashex. It feels like a shame to let that go. Perhaps for different reasons now I'd be searching for her, but I'd want to hear her reasons. I'd want to hear why from her mouth. So what you're asking is that if we come across her, don't kill her? Or at or least take me with you this? and <laughs> let her I mean, first. I can, t I can tell you, Nyx, I am in the same boat as Clark. I want to know why and I want to hear it from her lips as well. I mean, my fiancé comes along all the time, so why not bring your brother? Yeah, he's I got mean, a good point, you know. He's more than welcome to come. I'm not going to say no. Get, yeah. get a chance to hang out with my brother for the that I haven't seen in over five years. Yeah. I'm not going to say no to that. I would have. I hate my brother. You got a brother? Yeah. And a sister. Oh, I want to meet them. No, you don't. <laughs> I do I understand like... the sentiment. My brother's a piece of shit, too. Well, he's not really. He's just a little shit. But... Shitty brothers! He's not really shitty. He's just a little shit. But I'll high five you anyway. Yeah. No, when. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know why that sentence made me suspicious. So are we saying this as we're walking, or are we just I all assume kind of yes. standing there? I assume okay. every I time we just like walk. talking bullshit, it's like that Aaron Sorkin walking down a hallway scene. Um, I I will say that um, when you got down, the guards probably would have uh, told you that there would be um, barracks available okay. for the snack. six of you. Um, and they'd point you to a building that's pretty near where the, uh, Wanderers were. Shit, guys, I just realized something. Uh huh? We forgot to ask for a reward. I was waiting for you guys to ask about the cube, but, you know, it didn't matter to me, so... Fuck! Oh, that was the perfect chance to ask for it! Yep. Oh, god I damn mean, it. I kind of got my <laughs> reward. Yeah, great. Doesn't also... you to the thing you specifically want to do. They're never gonna give that. They're not up. gonna give us the cube. I feel that I need to Please. discuss Nothing. something with you guys, by the way. Go on. We're all I'd like to wait until we're in private quarters. Yeah, I got Carter, it. Carter's got a pair of real high be. eyebrows at this conversation. Carter or Clark? Clark. 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 God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna yeah. do that so many times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. It's all over for you. Not that kind of privacy that i just <laughs> right i don't think he thought that kind of privacy either <laughs> he did not i thought the dm was just like i'm done <laughs> did you... no the dm was turning on a finger it's fucking hot in this room jesus oh my god all right let's I... go find the nearest like build quiet building Preferably with at least one escape route. Maybe two. For when when Nick's like turns into a dragon or some shit. <laughs> if For when Nick becomes only. a Tarask. Her name is yeah, well, Drogonix, as long as Clark the... doesn't turn out to be the Demon Lord, because he turns out to be the Demon That's Lord, that. I'm gonna be really. Pissed. I can promise I'm not a demon. That's exactly what a demon would say. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like the last time I can't argue with it, that like... logic. Yeah. So, like, when we actually get to quarters or whatever, yeah. um, Nyx will drop her disguise. I have noticed, Norin. Mm -hmm. Every time something comes up, you seem to give me this interesting look. 
And I figure after a week of traveling with you all, I can trust you with some information. I mentioned a patron. I mentioned a patron in the Mm -hmm. council chambers. Mm -hmm. My patron... (laughs) She is a gorgeous woman who has granted me my powers to assist those who need it. So, Are you that's sure why you're I'm not here. talking about me? Are you a woman? Are you a gorgeous woman? No, my patron's a gorgeous woman, though. Mine is more of the fey variety. Oh, cool. Mine's an angel. What's this patron's name? Mine's a they, squid. They call her Satania. Yep, called it. Fucking goddamn it, Bree. Mine's a squid. <laughs> Mine's a squid. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of warlocks at this party. Yeah. Mine's called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just damn warlock sounds. I almost choked on a cracker. <laughs> Sorry. She is why I have Puck. She is why I'm here. Oh, mine gave me a sword. I mean, I trust Puck I... to be as effective as a sword. Yeah, that's probably fair. Nor is like a hundred percent just nonplussed about this entire. Th- this is just, yeah. Warlock Push to talk, talk to you. At this point. Push yeah. to talk to you. You hear a voice sort of from nowhere. I mean, I'm way better than a sword. Let's not pretend. I didn't want to okay. like you know brag, but can your sword think? Can your sword turn invisible? Can your sword fly? Can your yes, sword? Yes, yes. For a short period of time, yes. I was given immortality. Yeah, that's that's mm. also a thing. That's a double-edged sword. Yeah, I'm good without that one, to be honest. I mean, as long as we're comparing. I can breathe underwater. So can I. I can point <laughs> to a turtle. <laughs> Total high five. I did you know, do it. mostly just a sword and also the whole thing. Is it really a high five with a halfling? <laughs> It's a little bit. <laughs> we just oh, that's a short joke. up into the air. <laughs> what, what, type of, what type of room are we in? You guys are basically in like a, a barrack style room. There's there's six like uh, beds in here. Um, I, know. I know, I know, I don't want it's to. It's not super private, but it's what they've got to offer you and it's free. And yeah. she's speaking in hush tones. Okay, turn so. that on that. Yeah, and there's, it's, it's just you guys in this room at least, so. So, hey, Nix. In terms of the whole patrons, um, does yours, like, actually give you, like, tasks to do? Because mine mostly just says be a person. My task was to gather information on the rebellion and report back. Okay, so, like, an actual task, then. That is an actual task? I mean, it's better than mine. No yeah. You're supposed to be pick. doing your shit, B. Arnorin. Yeah, I am Just generally a pretty good person. I mean, I mean, I don't... Thank you very much. I don't know if you can notice, but usually before we settle in for the <sighs> evening, I would just take time to myself to, you know, meditate, as it were, but I wasn't really meditating, I was communicating. Oh, I figured you were actually just meditating, because ah. I not like, jump all the time. So. He jumped off a boat once. That is true. I like water. Mm. He's big once. Fan of water. <laughs> one. Yeah, many, but I many figured. times. Yeah. Well, if we were, if we like, were Carter tried it very yeah. briefly, but super good at it. I feel like Zarin's relationship to Pamplos is like having the rich father he just wants to impress, and Pamplos <laughs> is just like, all right, like cool. <laughs> Norns is just the nicest grandmother. Notice me. Notice me. But either way, I felt that uh, I needed to come clean about at least one thing. I appreciate it. Is there more? I narrow my eyes at that line. (laughs) Just... Well, I mean, there could be more, but we'll have to see if uh, I'm willing to give that to you. Hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> I am... The fucking title of this show. <laughs> for all intents and purposes, a spy. That is what she sent me here for. So do you, you like, know, live Andy. in the Feywild? Do I live in the Feywild? Yeah, you said she sent no. you here. Do you like... Okay. No, I don't live in the Feywild. I visit occasionally, but I don't live Fair there. Enough. I was a pirate. I guess now I'm a privateer? I'm not sure we're still pirates. I'm pardoned. Mercenary? Am I a privateer? I don't know. And he just goes on talking to himself. Like, God do I have a tier pirate? I don't... Like, having an existential crisis. Just, Either way, I'm sure you know that I'm not there. actually from around here, so... Well, I mean... Yeah. My accent's a little funny. <sighs> yeah, I know the feeling. Like, I'm My accent is a little funny. Weird. My accent's a little funny. And you Man. find out Doran's actually had a thick southern accent this whole time. My accent's a little funny. My accent's a little funny. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Zarn's Australian. <laughs> I thought Zarn any... was literally Jason Momoa, so that's not... He is. Are there thing? other conversations or anything else you guys would like to do tonight? Yes, do. Carter, go. So, like I said, Carter takes Clark and, like, sits him down. He's like... You've been gone. I feel like I need to fill you in on a couple things. Um, shortly after the wedding, um, we thought about getting pregnant. We finally got pregnant, and then decided it'd be best to move back to Lenaton with mom and dad because we were going to need help <clears throat> and then everything went down in Ravenhold um, including those other those other three Nyx wasn't there the other three were I didn't know them at the time I heard about that they were involved yep um, they killed the golden lord um and they found out that there was a teleportation circle in there, which they've told you about already. And that's why they think it's connected, because all of the guard were tieflings. Um, and then, after they defeated the Golden Lord, Garrick, who is known as the Blue Arrow, retired. He's now living as the Lord of... Ravenhold with his soon-to-be wife, I'm guessing, Alana. And because of that, Bailey and I decided to move from Lenayton to Ravenhold because I managed to get a hold of Garrick and he started to train me. Thus, the whole gear stuff. Um, and then shortly after moving to Ravenhold... Bailey went into labor, and um, her and my son died during labor. It hit me pretty hard. I had Garrick there, I kind of put more thought into training, and eventually became a guard. For Ravenhold Keep. He, and... um... He hugs you. He just wraps his arms around you and he hugs you. I'm sorry, Carter. I don't know if I'll ever get over it, but I'm trying. And I've, as soon as those three showed up on Garrick's door again, we, uh, we fought the Golden Lord again, defeating him again. And then We, uh, 
we left. <clears throat> I told Garrick that I could probably do more away from the keep than I could just being a guard standing on top of a guard tower. So I put this on and started traveling. Been kind of ridiculous ever since. Right. Right. You, he sort of is lost in thought for a couple of seconds, and you're not sure. You're not sure how to read the the emotion on his face or what he's thinking. And he turns and he gives you a small smile. If nothing else, it brought us together eventually. Something I definitely was not expecting. Same here. For now, though, we need to probably get some rest, especially you, for what you've been through. And we can discuss what we're going to do later. You gotta fill me in on the rest of this stuff and points to his tattoos. And everything that you've been up to, because that I gotta hear. Yeah, no worries. That'll come after about 17 hours of sleeping. I do not blame you. Yeah, I'm, um... I'm gonna do my best to get some rest at this point, I think. I'll talk to you tomorrow, alright? Oh, yeah. Carter? He... Yeah. I love you, big brother. Okay. Love you too, man. Carter stands up and... kisses the top of Clark's head and... turns around to walk back towards the rest of the group. So back in the main room. <laughs> meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile, 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 we're all sitting there. So Nix, it's called humans and catacombs. <laughs> the current no. is electrum. I've heard. Ugh. Really. Just smash. Really, it. I can't believe this place still uses that outdated money. Holy <sighs> shit! You've heard of it? I thought it was just a legend. Spoken of only in history. I'm a learned a person. Yaga. What do you think? <laughs> I'm legit actually a little bit impressed. Like, Norn hasn't... Norn's been, like, totally chill through this whole thing. Huh. <laughs> There's this... a lot that I know that I haven't quite divulged to you. He didn't say it, we got it in chat. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are done, I'm going to go pray over in a corner. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded so weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go pray so, in the I'm just going to pray corner. in the corner. So, He's just going to sit there like, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. That's the kind yeah, of thing oh, you got with your patron, huh? Huh? Got it. Call it whatever you I'm like. I'm in the same room I'm as you. I'm going to go pray like, I walk and ten grip feet my to the sword. Right. Oh, so deep in prayer. <laughs> so deep in prayer right now. I'm gonna walk in front of them like ten feet out. We don't want to watch. Kneel down. <laughs> so this is you and your patron. We're not part of that relationship, my dear. Then I'm going to cast major image. Pray so hard. Oh, I <laughs> major image and put a, <laughs> a curtain between you. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> One of those like oh, privacy. Funny... Privacy screens. screens yeah. Yes. <laughs> the, no attention. In the shadow the of it's... behind the curtain. Yeah. And no, all we no. hear is just. It's the screen on the shadow. You <laughs> see the image of like. Norin. Norin's not doing anything. He's just sitting. But the image is like him slowly getting undressed. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. 
I, you know what? Last fuck. One second, let me fucking look this. I throw my hammer at it. No! Give Roll an attack roll for me, just for fun. <laughs> Oh, this went from real serious to like dur, 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 dur. thundercrack. Welcome to Galatea. Hey! <laughs> wow. No. Ow, what's your AC, Nora? Not twenty-four. Is it seventeen? It is fifteen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> right, in the, ah. like right in the side of the head. <laughs> And I it just stop. passes right. You pass it through the illusion zone. You don't see anything happen, but you hear fuck. and oh fuck! I stomp I through the curtain. It. We don't do that, and you know it. No. Speak for yourself, just not in public. <laughs> I pick up my hammer and I walk away. No, he just stops. As Carter's or as Zard's walk away, he just starts stop looking over at Nyx and looking back at Zard. As Zard's walking away, I'm gonna mage hand and t just like, just lightly tickle his ass. <laughs> Does that count as an attack? I certainly hope no. not. Can I use my <laughs> Wrath of the Storm? <laughs> no. <laughs> Against a Channel mage hand? Max damage. <laughs> Channel Divinity, max damage. Sure. You use the Wrath of the Storm on the mage hand. Mage hand just flips back around and just like waves in your face. Okay. Right. If if a hand could wink, it would be winking at you. Oh my god. No, that's when it's like, um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me throw this again. I would like to see you try. No. And I take the dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Just, um, like, dodge roll out of the way. Anything else anyone would like to do this evening? No. Carter takes the bed next to Clark just yep. for prosperity's sake and okay. meditates on it before going to sleep. Okay. You do also notice um, Clark Clark also sits and meditates for several minutes before actually sleeping. Oh my god, this meditation stuff yeah. is so boring. Two, two people that... Does meditation. You have two that do prayers, and then you've got Nick, who just kind of communicates with Titania, and then there's Bree. <laughs> Stop meditating, poke, poke, poke. <laughs> Puck could be like going over and just like playing cards with Bree. <laughs> Meditation's the worst. God, I know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was so like genuine god I know uh, <coughs> she never talks with me anymore <laughs> like usually she's great but just uh, sometimes especially uh, when she's meditating she's so quiet and like I get it she's gotta do her thing but have you uh, tried poking I don't want she gets she gets upset when I bother her and I get it. I, I get it, I do. I have I have my time where I need to be left alone and I understand. It's it's a fraught relationship, this whole familiar thing. We're just together all the time and sometimes we just need some time apart and I get that and I don't want to pressure her. Just, you never get your time apart. I can hear you. I know you can, that's why I'm saying this. <laughs> uh Auntie, why do you do this to me? <laughs> I like you, Puck. Because she loves you too. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up my hammer. I'm so glad you don't talk. <laughs> That's when the hammer suddenly gets googly eyes. What are you talking about? Ah! Oh, shield does. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, was like, I do. <laughs> 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 Why she haven't heard it in a very long time because you don't talk to it anymore. Yeah, you don't talk. I you don't. never talk anymore. <laughs> you never look me in the eyes when we're fighting anymore. <laughs> God, I haven't talked Dude, to Mormon so, so long. long. I sort of, yeah, figured, I sort of figured it out of game you and Mom have like conversations. Like, like, like yeah, in game, game you haven't talked to Morim since like Dragonix. It's been a long time. Yeah, because I, I can't. Everything I'm Bless thinking you. about, I don't think she has any knowledge about it, so I don't want to bother her. She's busy. Yeah, like, Morm's like a hunt. Morm died a hundred years ago. She didn't know shit about what's going on. Yeah. 
probably talk to her like off off game. Oh, yeah. Please tell me that the shield is just like I don't fucking understand what you whippersnappers do anymore. <laughs> no, Technology's no, no. so different. The shield is not like that at all. But it would be no, funny. That is an idea for a very funny magic. More and fire. What? <laughs> fire! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Dire, yes, the situation is dire, Sonny. How about you hold me up? <laughs> liar? I'm not a liar. I remember when they invented chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, they didn't put corn syrup in chocolates. Wow, that's <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh... <laughs> Is there anything, uh, anything else anyone wants to do? Any <coughs> prayers that need to happen? Any other conversations between party members? Anything like that? I do oh. legit want to pray at some point. Just not a long yep. thing. Just like a, hey, I haven't talked to you in cool. a while. And Let's do that now. Things are just going well. All right. Okay. So I'm going to standing up, not laying in bed. Very specifically. I am not hey, laying in bed, gripping my sword, me. talking to an imaginary person. <laughs> I am very, very openly standing <laughs> with my sword out, staring deeply into the ruby on the end, and just sort of staring at it. Okay. And, and then just sort of just to thing. check it in. Hey, here's what's up. Do you have any advice, kind of thing? Not making it better. Because like I haven't talked to you in longer than I should. Like, I know I should write more. Um, as, 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 as you open sort of the lens of communication with it there, uh, again, you get, you get the familiar feeling of warmth, and then you get something else that you're not used to. It's not her voice, it's not just the general sense of warmth or, or the hug that you normally get. It's a, uh, a sudden remembrance like like a flash of memory of what she asked you to do originally um it was to be kind and to to, to express her tenets but it's also to spread her name mm. to gather worshipers to be her prophet effectively The the memory of her initial charge really to you, up on that one, aren't I? the memory of her initial charge comes rushing back, and then you hear her voice. I trust in you, Norn Goldly. Yeah. Yeah. Have a luminous day. Thank you. And then it vanishes. <laughs> Uh, I gotta start. I'm gonna go sit down, pull out. I, I'm gonna go search the barracks for like a book and start actually writing. Like, uh, in the beginning, there was light and actually mean it this time. Okay. Like a proper. So you do some writing tonight kind of before you go to bed. Yeah. Cool. A proper actual religious text. Hey, okay, anybody else got anything? Nope. Not that I can think of. What I needed to out of the way. <clears throat> Bree spends the night poking everybody who's in meditation. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Bree stays up too late playing cards with fuck. Yeah. There you go. We're drinking and playing cards. Oh my god. <sighs> I wonder if I can give Puck a hangover. He's very small. It wouldn't take much. I feel like Zarin tried to meditate, but just fell asleep. <laughs> that sounds right. That sounds very Zarin. It does, actually. <sighs> <laughs> like there's no water here. This is hard. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so with y'all um, drifting off to sleep after a very long day, a very long day, you after all arrived in Juan Laredo 
literally today. Oh shit, that's right. Yeah. 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 You all lay down for a well-deserved rest with an unexpected compatriot in the form of Carter's brother nearby. And as each of you drift off, you make your way into Dreamland. Oh god. And with that, we end tonight's session. Oh, thank god. Okay. <laughs> I was actually fully expecting I was, mechanics, and I'm uh, like, oh, this is happening. I was, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was 100% expecting that. Don't do you that. Did you dream land and roll initiative? Right. You roll initiative. You go to dream that land and you're secretly a dead. Lot. It, that either that or like, <clears throat> yeah, like, it happened to you, you like walk, two days ago. You all go off to dreamland. Zarn, you have a dream. Oh, <laughs> you know what it's like. Dream? I mean, to be fair, I've done dream stuff a couple of times in this game. I mean, oh, you have. I That's know. why I was fully expecting That's it. That's why it terrifies me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every single one of my games finds has to be coming out of nowhere again. You see an old woman that you recognize as Stop it. Hag. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. You never Stop call it. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You see, we do not... you see an old woman that you recognize as <laughs> your grandmother-in-law. Oh, God. We do not talk about the HAG, okay? So, just saying. All right. I'm hoping so eventually Quad forgets about it. Who, thanks, everyone, who uh, tuned in to watch. I hope you all enjoyed. And we will be back next Monday. Indeed. Yay! Say bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Jinx. Bye. Bye, I said that's bad.